What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossmarTech.com and this is another tutorial in Objective-C programming. Now this is going to be part two of our classes, objects, and methods. In this class I'm going to show you the implementation part. Now in the implementation part, we're going to give our methods some instructions. Now to do that, all we have to do is after this ending here, we got to type in at, right? Then we can type in implementation. So we can type in I M P L E M E. I'm sorry, E N T A T I O N. We're going to hit space. We're going to give it our class name, which is cars. We named our class car. Whatever your class name is, you're going to type. So I'm going to type in car. Then we're going to hit enter. Now, now again, a, a method contains two parts. It contains a method header, which we've done over here. This is a method header. This is the method name. And it contains a uh, method body. In the method body, the me that's the method's instructions, basically. Now, so we're going to hit, hit enter again. Now, the beauty of this, we already added a method header, so all we have to do is copy this first uh, method, our print method, without the semicolon. We're going to copy that, and we're going to paste it under here, right? And uh, we have to add open and close curly brace, because that's our body, that's the method body, the open and close curly brace. Now, inside this open and close curly brace, we're going to hit enter a few times. Now, in between this open and close curly brace, we're going to give our method instruction. Whenever the method is invoked, we want it to do something. We want it to print that on the screen, so we're going to use the nslog statement. So I'm going to hit tab here, capital N, capital S, capital L, lowercase o, lowercase g, hit space, open and close parentheses, right? And it with a semicolon because it is a statement. Inside this open and close parentheses, we're going to type in at symbol, a set of double quotes, so two double quotes. In between the set of double quotes, we're going to type in a message that we want it to print out. So I'm going to say, my car has, and I'm going to use this percent symbol i. Remember, a percent symbol i is a placeholder for a variable in memory. So I'm going to say, my car has a variable miles and a top speed of space then percent symbol i again which is going to be another variable so again my car has a blank mile and a top speed of blank so we're going to use these variables to fill in this uh, placeholder here so this first one is done now we got to add a second one so again we're going to copy our method header so the second one is set miles so we're going to copy it up until the m we're not going to copy the semicolon right so copy that and we're going to paste it outside this closing curly brace here Right. So now again, we this is our method header. This is basically the name of the method. Now again, we got to add a method body to do that. We got to use this open and close curly brace. In between the open and close curly brace, we're going to type in enter a few times. So we're going to add instructions in between this open and close curly brace. So whenever this method is invoked, it's going to do something, and we're going to give it the instructions right here. So we're going to transfer over uh, some values. So we're going to transfer over the value of our method into our variable miles. To do that, we got to first uh, type in our variable miles. So type in miles, hit space, type in equals, then uh, we got to use this uh, variable m here. Uh, we With this method, all the value is going to go to this variable m. And we want to transfer that variable into a, a another variable that we declared up here later on so we can use it. So basically, we're going to type in m here and end it with a semicolon. So Whenever this variable here, I'm sorry, whenever this method is invoked, it's going to take the value, it's going to save it in M, then it's going to transfer the value to our uh, variable here, miles. So then we'll be able to use that later on. So let's uh, copy our third method down here, up until the S, not the semicolon. Let's uh, paste it under this last cur curly brace here, and then paste. So again, this is the method header here. Now we can add the body. To add the body is a open and close curly brace. So open and close curly brace. Inside the open and close curly brace, we're going to hit enter a few times. In between the open and close curly brace, we're going to give this method instructions. Whenever this method is invoked, we want it to do something. Again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to transfer over some value. So this time it's going to be our second variable, top speed. So we're going to type in our variable down here, top speed that we declared at top of here, right? So I'm going to hit tab, and I'm typing top speed right that's our variable name we're gonna hit space we're gonna give it this equal symbol remember the equal symbol transfers value over so we're gonna transfer the value over of our variable s and the way semicolon remember when this variable is invoked and it gets value it's gonna transfer over the value to this variable s 
And uh, when it when it's evoked, we want the variable s to transfer that value back to our variable top speed, so we can use it later on. So now we got to add the ending to do that. Outside the this closing curly brace, we're going to use this add symbol and type in end. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Please watch my next video, and uh, we're going to complete the program. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RasmarTech.com, and thanks for watching.